the people fill the theater on the night of the play. And as the curtain time drew near, a man came on the stage. I must make an announcement, don't you listen to me. The building is on fire, everybody must leave. Fire, fire, said the people, now what could this mean? This man must be an actor, it's the opening scene. The man on stage looked worried, he said, this is no act. The building is on fire, what I say is a fact. So won't you exit quickly now and leave row by row? You might as well evacuate, there won't be a show. Fire, fire, said the people, this man has a feel. Why, the way he acts, you want to think the fire is real. Then from the wings a stagehand came, his eyes filled with fear. He shouted to the people, listen, get out of here. Now can't you people understand this isn't an act? So everyone evacuate and flee from the past. Fire, fire, said the people, now why should we go? This actor is a genius, he's stealing the show. Get out, get out, I say, you'll burn from neglect. The critics know that repetition used for effect. Now I can see the stagehand said this is a lost cause. And his words were drowned in cheers and thunderous applause. Fire, fire, said the people, let's make this a flick. Why, with a stagehand for an actor, they'll use every trick. Then from underneath the curtain came a bright yellow flame and the stagehand shouted frantically, you folks are insane. I'm telling you for the last time that there is a real fire. Then he disappeared and the people cheered and the flame Fire, fire, said the people, it seems awful hot Just stage effects to make you think there's a fire when there's not Fire, fire, said the people, they started to choke Although it's fake, it billows great, it's just like real smoke now hear the flames roar Somebody did a bang-up job And the music was scored Fire, fire, said the people Now why should we go? These men are only actors It's the ultimate show Fire, fire, said the people Now why should we go? These men are only actors It's the ultimate show My 
friends all had left me I knew it was time to go home I can feel it now that home again Quaker farmer with his kerosene lamp Came at evening to the Union camp He asked the blue coat soldiers, ask them every one Tell me, have you seen my son John? John Hartman, thy father called Son, won't you come home? Come home. Then said the Union Captain, Sir, it's been a long fight. 
We're all that's left of the regiment that fought here last night. Perhaps out on that battlefield they call a bull run. You find the wounded soldier that is your boy, John. John Hartman, thy father calls the old son. Won't you come home? Come home. Out across that battlefield he walked through the night Among the dead and dying with his flickering light Through his tears he called to his soldier's son Now won't you come home, John Hartman John Hartman, thy father calls thee, O son won't you come home, come home? Then just as the dawn light tinged the eastern sky, across those misty fields, he heard a feeble cry And the old Quaker farmer broke into a run For he knew it was the voice of his boy John John Hartman, thy father calls the old son Won't you come home, come home And with tears of joy streaming down his face, he bound up his wounds and thanked God for his grace. And with arms around each other, they headed for home. And out across those fields, you could hear their song. Coming home, coming home, never more to roam. Oh, story, a tale from days of yore, that happened on the maiden voyage of a ship called the North Star. That mighty ship left her slip October 23, and with full steam that sailor's dream, head for open sea.
It's midnight on the restless sea, the captain stands alone. He hears the people's laughter and the engine steady groan. And he wonders if the icebergs will be riding on the waves. Trying to find a steely hull to send to an ocean grave. And all throughout that foggy night, the watchman's eyes were keen. But not a single iceberg upon the sea was seen. And the sailor's eyes grew weary as the night wore on. And he fell asleep out on the deep just before the dawn. Then there rose a mighty iceberg upon the sunless sea And it drifted in the North Star's course as fate would have it be And with her screws churning hard she rammed the ice full board And shuddered in the pre-dawn day as her metal twisted door Oh no, she moans, I'm sinking, the sea is rushing in. The bulkhead must be battened or I'll never sail again. And the passengers were screaming and the crewmen's faces pale. For they knew they'd never live to tell this dreadful tale. The people ran in panic, heading for an aft. And sailors scrambled from the hold as water blocked their path. And the swelling seas too choppy now to lure the boats away. And now the ship began to list that dark and fateful day. And then the captain called his crew and he lined them up the stern. And he told them that they all were doomed if something wasn't done. And he asked if any of volunteer would give his life to save. That noble ship, the North Star, from the watery grave. Then from the ranks there stepped a sailor, young and brave and true. And he said, Sir, give me the task that you would have me do. Give me the word, my captain, and I'll go straight away and save this noble vessel. To sail another day. The captain was as still as stone. His eyes were filled with grief. He stood in anguished silence, transfixed in unbelief. Then he threw his arms around the boy. Whose time had come at last, and he hoarsely whispered the command to make the bulkhead fast. The young brave sailor went below and did as he was told. Down he went and through a vent he swam into the hole. 
He battened out the surging tide, secured the bulkhead down. Himself a prisoner held within, the young brave sailor drowned. The next day the sun shone bright on the shimmering sea as if to erase every trace from the memory of brave men and icebergs. That happened before the North Star put that in her wake and head for nearest shore. And then the captain called his crew and all on board. To the stern for a service of thanksgiving to the Lord. No greater deed, the captain said, has any sailor done. For you see, that boy that gave his life was my only son. Now many years have passed since this story first was told And to this day the North Star bears scars upon her hold That tell of a captain's son who lived in days of yore Who say that noble vessel, mighty ship North Star First she head for open sea, the mighty ship North Star. Jars on the shelf formed of the same crude potter's hand, and he molded each as though he planned to make them one and the same, and set the price. Thus to be paid as one for both, so similar were they made. The 
Potter took the two clay jars and set them both aside. And as the weeks turned into months, he glanced at them with pride. And he thought perhaps to take them home and put them on his shelf until a passerby inquired to buy one for himself. He chose to take just one clay jar he could use only one and he left the other earthen jar on the shelf alone and when the man was far away without a word the spoken the potter turned to the shelf to find the other jar was broken Listen, everyone, hear the drummer wake from slumber now, and hear his drumming, lift your weary eyes, and see the Savior. Amen. 